Hi guys, today I have for you another short tutorial, this time on how to sync Fitbit data to Apple Health app. So I know that a lot of you is using Fitbit instead of Apple Watch, either because you don't need so many features or simply because of the much better battery life that Fitbit offers. I am using Versa 2 myself and as you can see the number of steps in Fitbit app is completely different than the number of steps I have in Apple Health app. Unfortunately, there is no easy or default way to sync Fitbit data to Apple Health app, so today I'm going to show you a quick workaround how you can sync this data. But before I do that, if you are new to this channel, then please subscribe and hit the like button to help with YouTube algorithm and be notified about new videos with tips and tricks on macOS and iPhone. Ok, so let's start. I will open my Fitbit app. As you can see, I have over 7000 steps, a run and a distance of over 7 kilometers. But for the purpose of this video, we will focus on steps and distance. So let's check Apple Health app. And as you can see here, I have only 4000 steps and 5 km distance. So to sync our Fitbit data, we need an external app. So let's go to App Store and look for Fitbit Apple Sync. In results, we have Power Sync for Fitbit, and this is the app that we want. So let's download the app. I will disable notifications. And as you can see, there is not too many options. Basically, there is just sync now button. The app is free to use, but you have to sync the data manually. There is also premium option, which gives you auto sync feature. But of course, this is not necessary for the app to work. So let's click on sync. As you can see, we are asked to log into our Fitbit account. I will fill in the credentials. And now we have to allow the app to have access to Fitbit account and data. So I will select allow all. And now we have to allow PowerSync app to access and update all the data in Apple Health app. So I will select all categories and click allow. As you can see, syncing is in progress. And now it's finished, so let's check our Apple Health. And now I have almost 12,000 steps and 11 kilometers of walking and running distance. But these are not really the numbers that I had from a Fitbit app. My numbers in Fitbit are much lower, so what happened? Well, the app cannot really override the data that is already in Apple Health app. It can just add to it. So this is not exactly what we want, because in that case, the data from Apple Health is doubled. But luckily, there is a small workaround for this as well. We can just revoke Apple Health access to motion tracking data. To do that, we need to go to Settings, then Privacy, then scroll down and enter Motion and Fitness, and here disable Apple Health. That way Apple Health will not count your steps and track any activity and you can just sync all your data from Fitbit. I hope this was helpful, if yes please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.